We're at the Oregon Children's Theater here on Northeast Sandy Boulevard where they hold their classes, but their main stage productions are always held at the beautiful Newmark and Winningstad Theaters in downtown Portland. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Ken Ackerman. A local chamber of commerce is working with local businesses to help better connect with the community. For more, please welcome Susan Lair. She's a president and CEO of the North Clackamas County Chamber of Commerce. Thank you very much for being Thank with you. us. Now you have a program. Tell me a little bit about the leadership program that you offer local businesses. For over 12 years, the North Clackamas Chamber of Commerce has been working with the Leadership Clackamas County. It's a program that is for leadership development as well as community awareness to connect the businesses with the community for a stronger local economy. Not so much a marketing effort, but but a foundational effort to help advance the businesses, right? Exactly. With what? Tell me uh, uh, how you go about doing this. Each year, starting in September, we've got a group of people who come together for the program. There's one day a month where the classes meet on different topics, everything from diversity to communication, intergenerational uh, differences. So it's about understanding all of those pieces that help us run our business, while at the same time applying real decision-making projects and activities where they engage with both other business partners as well as public-private partnerships. Now you incorporate real business scenarios and, and one of them would be uh, the stadium that uh, Milwaukee is, is hoping to build. Tell me how you incorporate the process of getting a stadium built with these local businesses. One of the exciting projects as you said was this application project that they did this last year with the leadership class. Uh, the city of Milwaukee, as they've been seeking to bring or consider bringing a baseball field, our class actually did a mock activity where they interacted with all of the different agencies that would be involved in such a discussion to decide whether or not it's good for the community, whether it's good for business, and whether it's good for the citizens. You know, a lot of people say, well, yeah, build the stadium. It's, it, there's so much that goes into it they don't understand. What different agencies would be involved? Just give me an example. Well, there's some of the obvious things, the construction of it, architecture, but then there's environmental impact. There's tourism. There's neighborhood groups. What's it, how does it affect noise, uh, traffic? What's it going to do for crime, transportation, parking? All of those things come together with that. So we brought all of the different county and city agencies that would be engaged together, and the participants took that role on. So some of the students took place as part of city council. Some of them actually played the part of environmental impact, debated that question, and then put it before a uh, general discussion and vote. Is it going to happen? How are these businesses better equipped to interact with the people living in their community, stadium aside, with everything that you offer? You know, one of our participants, I think, said it best, is that they weren't prepared for meeting some of the partners that them help them do their business together. Even though it isn't necessarily related to what their business does, they now know if they have a question who to outreach to, where to find solutions, mm -hmm. they know better who to talk to when there's an issue that arises. And you also have what's, what's very cool is a young leadership project where you take high schoolers and, and put them through a similar... Uh, situation. They're programs that run concurrently and together, so much of the time the adults are interacting with these high school leaders. I mean, these are exciting people who care about their community and have big visions. So by working with the adults, they get to interact and understand the same types of challenges that they're going to face when they venture out into careers, while at the same time teaching the adults that the young generation does it differently. And uh, what kind of commitment is this on the high school land? for these kids? It's one day a month from October through May and they get the support of their schools, support of their parents to participate and then they will graduate with the adult leaders of the program in June. And we're talking Milwaukee, Gladstone, those high schools? It's and... open to any resident okay. of Clackamas County or any high school or whether they're homeschooled, public school, private school, they can participate. For the adults, their business owners, business leaders, and residents and citizens of the community. Susan Lair, thank you very much for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. We want to thank you for being here as well from the Oregon Children's Theater, where they offer classes in improv, musical theater, and on camera. For the crew here, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.